And I do have one very affirmative statement to make. We won. But I didn't lose. I got the votes. But we won't know exactly how many because of how they cheated. I did win my election. I just didn't get to have the job. We were robbed of an election. Just using the word rigged, using the word steal, do you think it's dangerous going into 2020? I, I don't, because we can actually back it up. And so in response to what I believe was a stolen election, and I'm not saying they stole it from me, they stole it from the voters of Georgia. Back to someone outside asked if I'm ever going to concede. The answer is no. This is not a speech of concession. Because concession means to acknowledge an action is right, true, or proper. And I will not concede because the erosion of our democracy is not right. People are like, man, you man, they're going to steal your election. It was not a free and fair election. I think the election was stolen from the people of Georgia. I believe it was stolen from the voters. Thousands of Georgians had their voices stolen because they were not able to cast ballots. And they cannot be guaranteed that their votes will be counted in 2020 if we don't do this right. If what happens to you happens nationally and we, we see uh, whoever runs for, whoever wins the Democratic nominee, if they say, actually, I can prove that there's a number of votes in every state that, that, and, that, and that the same thing that you just described happens in multiple states, should they concede? I do not think we should concede an election until we know the results of an election. I still fundamentally believed it could be fair. And that's just not how life works. If it looks like it's cheating, it probably is. If it looks like it's rigged, it probably is. We've been raised to believe that it is invalid, in fact, it's uncouth call the question that if you want to run for office again, you've got to concede the election so that everyone knows you're a good sport. I'm not. I said that the election was stolen from Georgia voters. The process that took place during the legislative cycle was one that did not countenance and did not pay attention to the deep and real concerns of those who watched this election be stolen in the state of Georgia. It was stolen from the voters of Georgia. As long as we have eligible American citizens who cannot cast a ballot, then the game is rigged. I am complicit if I say that that system is fair. Concession in the political space is an acknowledgement that the process was fair. And I don't believe that to be so. But I refuse to concede because concession means that the process was proper, that the result was true and right. And I cannot say that. I tend to say I didn't lose, I just didn't win. And I don't call it a loss, I just didn't win. But, uh, yes, you did. Okay. Officially. Yes. Officially. Put it this way, I didn't get to get inaugurated and that's problematic. Okay. I was joking with Beth backstage when Cliff said you know, she lost. And I'm like, no, I just didn't win. Uh, because we don't know what really happened because of the miasma of voter suppression. I can't know for a fact that I would be the governor of Georgia but for the malfeasance and the mismanagement of Brian Kemp, but I know it's a pretty good guess. So I can't prove that I would have won, but I know we don't know because of how he behaved. Is he the legitimate governor-elect of Georgia? He is the person who won an adequate number of votes but that's to become not, the governor. Of, governor with, all, with all due respect, and I respect where you're coming from, and I respect the, the issues that you're raising, you're not answering the question. Do you think it I was... Am, I am. No, do, I, I, would I not he, do it? You're not using the word legitimate. Is he the legitimate governor-elect of Georgia? He is the legal governor of Georgia. You see, I'm here to tell you that just because you win doesn't mean you're won. You said to me that you did not lose, you just did not win. Yes. So we're going to talk about that. Bad news is that we didn't get the victory we secured. And the thing is, we will never know empirically that I got more votes because we will never know which votes didn't get counted. But will I say that this election was not tainted? was not a disinvestment and a disenfranchisement of thousands of voters, I will not say that. You refuse to concede and say that you lost. Do you stand by that decision today? A absolutely. This was not fair, it was not right, and it is deeply improper that someone could ascend to that role having performed so basely and so crassly against the very people he is now supposed to represent. The election was not fair. The process was not fair. You uh, notably did not concede. I did not. Okay, you acknowledged that he won, but you did not concede. Correct. Five months later, do you still feel like your opponent won through voter suppression? Yes. Georgia voters did not have their votes counted. They were not allowed to cast votes. They had their votes discarded. And it was not fair to those who filled out absentee ballots. And depending on the county you sent it to, it either was counted or not counted, assuming you received it in time. 
Brian Kemp oversaw for eight years the systematic and systemic dismantling of our democracy, and that means there could not be free and fair elections in Georgia. So you don't feel that you lost fair and square? I do recognize I am not the governor of Georgia, but I do like to point out something that is true for me and for many in our state, and that is we won.